Hey guys, Cyclone Mania here. You guys are gonna freak out because I don't even know why I didn't think about this, but uh, you guys know I've been having issues with uh, the lines and the camera. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there, oh, it's because it's a magnetic uh, ballast, it's the light pulsing 120 times an hour, it's, uh, you need to get polarized lens over your camera. Um, you know, lots of suggestions out there. And uh, for, some, for whatever reason, I could not get uh, those lines to go away with my Android Globe 2 phone. Well, this is my other phone that I have. And this is the iPhone. And uh, I never even thought to try to use this phone. And uh, the camera is insane on this. As you guys can tell, probably the quality of this video is, is uh, just downright amazing. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot an update video and uh, I'll go ahead and turn this fan off. As you guys can tell, I got the pumps off right now and the reason why I did that is so you guys can see the corals that I have and the fish that I have and basically uh, we can do a way of uh, documenting the corals that I do have that way a month down the road or two months down the road, we can see if we're getting any uh, substantial growth. Um, I have personally noticed quite a bit of growth off of a few of these corals, and uh, I would like to just see um, a video. So that's the main reason why I'm shooting this video, it's just an update of uh, my fish, uh, the size of my fish, zinnias, and uh, basically the corals. I don't know why I said zinnias. I was just looking at my frags. But uh, last night I did take a few of the uh, corals out of my vase, soft corals. There's a toadstool with some zoanthids. Nothing special, just a bunch of softies. I also went ahead and uh, I guess I do have the, the lines in here, but they're not as bad. I put some pulsing zinnias in here. I'm gonna wait till they attach to a rock and then we'll those out onto plugs. Um, some yellow star polyps on a frag, a little snail there, and some long star green star polyps. Uh, nothing special, just wanted to get them out of the base. They were taking up some space in there and uh, basically wanted to get them into here to where we can start uh, propagating them in here. This tank gets fed every day, so we're going to get a lot more growth in the tank like this than we will in a vase that gets fed once a week or once every two weeks. So uh, these are the green bird's nests that I've been trying to show you guys this whole time, but I uh, haven't been able to get a good shot of them. Uh, they're all looking really good. Uh, let's go ahead and see if it's any different. We do something like this. All looking really healthy. I got some uh, of the hammered coral, I believe. These are some of the frags that I I took off of the main mother colony. All two heads, except for the one right here in the middle. That's just a one head frag. Here's the mother colony that I fragged out. There's the frog spawn that I, I purchased over a year ago and it was just one green bubble. Now it's two heads. Here's the mother colony of the green bird's nest that I'm going to go ahead and keep. Uh, here, I'm going to show you guys. There's the fox face and the Malinurus wrasse, which I purchased him to uh, take care of uh, any of the pests that are in the tank. Oh, I also have clownfish, chromies. Feeding the tank right now. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with my rose bubble tip and enemy. Uh, I know this probably looks pretty bad to you guys, but uh, 
this uh, this anemone was probably worth a little over a hundred bucks when, when I started with it, and unfortunately, I tried to get him off of the rock that you see here, and uh, I just couldn't. I tried an ice cube. I couldn't get the ice cube in there to get him to move. Um, I couldn't get in there to basically move him at all. Um, yes, I, I could have taken more time to do that, but. Uh, during the process, I ended up breaking the rock and splitting him into two. And uh, the reason why I did this is I had flatworms on this rock. I had already had treated it twice with Coral RX, and I was unsuccessful on getting rid of them. Now I only had about four more left on the rock, and instead of uh, waiting for my rafts to take care of it, I uh, ended up cutting those sections out after I tried breaking it apart and that didn't work. So um, I got rid of all the flatworms and I'm really hoping that I didn't uh, uh, kill this anemone. Um, unfortunately it was pretty devastating when the rock broke and uh, it ended up splitting right down the center of this anemone. So uh, I'm going to shoot a video of that real quick so you guys can uh, see the progress and the healing on that. Hopefully that does good. Now here's the mangrove tree that I got from Trent's tank. As you can tell, um, the camera's showing yellow leaves, but they are a green. And uh, they, those just opened up and I got a new one coming up the center. So real stoked about that. I got my Molly still in here. She gave birth to one baby right now that I see. Uh, my macro's doing really good. I got a filter sock right here. I got uh, off because I'm feeding. Skinmate's doing really good. Really, really dry, dry, dry uh, skinmate, which I'm really stoked about. Haven't done anything with the uh, 55 yet, but uh, I have uh, a 400 watt metal halide that I'm gonna make a canopy, throw this on here, and then I'll throw in some antennix. I think it'll turn out great. I got a king of tree frag down here. Uh, I actually bought this coral, not this specific one, but I bought one of these two years ago. And the one that I bought was about this big. I paid uh, 10 bucks for it. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I'll have to shoot a video, but I, I got a buddy of mine who I helped set up a tank at the indoor garden supply. And uh, there's probably about five or six Kenya trees in there. There's a Kenya tree inside uh, my vase and uh, it all originated from that one Kenya tree. I mean, if you put those all together, I mean, this Kenya tree from here, it'd probably be about this big right now. I mean, just massive how many frags I've gotten out of that thing. So uh, that's a good coral to get if you're a beginner. Got my green bubble tip and enemy down there. And a few mushrooms down there. Uh, what was I gonna show you guys over here? Just got some monopora caps. As you guys can tell, I'm getting a little bit of uh, algae growth, but I don't think it's anything to be too concerned about uh, since I don't have an adequate cleanup crew at the moment. Uh, I've just been buying snails every time I go in there until uh, basically it clears up, but it uh, looks like I'm going through a new algae growth, which I'm not really sure what kind of algae that is. I know it's a type of red algae, but uh, I think it's just all part of the, uh, the new cycle and uh, the new lights. Not too worried about it. Got a little bit of hair algae in some spots, but uh, I'm not even worried about it, guys. Um, as soon as this tank uh, gets more mature, I think it'll be, be just fine. It looks like that's the Rass's home right there. I recommend this fish for pets, but uh, this fish's personality is just awesome. They are always turning and checking things out. I mean, as soon as I threw him in here, he went straight to that rock with the flat worms and uh, 
started mowing that down and then uh, he continued to go and check every single thing else else out in the tank and uh, just making sure uh, he's getting all the pests. So great fish to get for uh, taking care of pests if you uh, want to do it the natural way and uh, I just highly recommend him. Uh, recommend him. Uh, a little aggressive but uh, you know nothing to be worried about it would just pretty much be fighting over food if anything but uh, I really like him as you can see he just bends back and forth turns all over the place but I'm gonna be buying a, a few yellow tangs if not three I'll, I'll, I might just get a couple but uh, I do need it looks like I do need a little bit more help in here to uh, control the algae at the moment and uh, if it's controlled after that, um, I'll just do supplemental feeding. Uh, but, uh, I really like the yellow tangs, and uh, I haven't seen my fox face really eating any algae, which kind of bothers me. But I, I was I was told that they're good algae eaters, and uh, I'm not really sure if he's even done that yet. I mean, I'm sure he has. It just don't, I don't see him doing it. Uh, Got the phytoplankton over here. It's growing really good, uh, nice and dark. Still haven't built my setup that I'm gonna be running full bore, uh, but I have almost used all of the phytoplankton that I had made last week on that video. I've almost used a majority of that on feeding. It goes it goes a really long way, but I, uh, I, I, I also have a vase that I fed some to and then I, I took some over to a buddy's house and fed some too so um, but this stuff over here I mean should be ready in a few days and I'll be able to to almost fill that jug up past where it was last week so I'll just keep harvesting it Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that update video and the new camera. Let me know if this uh, camera is more better than uh, the one that we had before, and I'll start using this. I mean, I can just tell looking through the viewer screen that this uh, the pixels are just a lot more sharper in this video, and uh, I guess I'll start making videos with my iPhone instead of the Android. Um, I don't even know why I didn't think to use this thing. Um, but... Uh, seems to be working excellent at least I ain't getting the lines in the camera as bad as I was with the Android and uh, I can all, I can see polyps and everything in this camera so uh, I know we're getting a little bit of lines there but at least they're not moving but tell me what you guys think of the uh, saltwater hot tub right now uh, Ben Border 09 is going to be shipping corals out on the first um, I do have a uh, Trent is going to be coming over tomorrow to basically uh, bring me a, a surprise. I helped him sell one of his uh, Red Sea 34 gallon tanks to a buddy of mine. So he's uh, hooking me up with something and some macroalgae. So I'll go ahead and shoot a video of that tomorrow. Uh, I might buy a tang tomorrow, but uh, I don't want to get too carried away. My nitrates are still at zero. And uh, so they're handling the uh, the rats just fine, and uh, I guess I might I might wait a, a month or two before adding that tang. But uh, I would like to try to get some of this algae under control. So I guess I'll have to I'll do some research um, and see if it's too early to be adding a tank to a uh, uh, you know a recently established tank. I'm not sure what month we're on, but I think we're at month two and a half to three but uh i'll have to look back on some of my youtube videos so thanks for watching guys please like my videos if you dislike my video tell me why at least uh have the audacity to tell me why you don't like it so maybe i can change something about that um to all you guys out there that haven't subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe and uh, i'll keep you guys updated no matter what so uh let me hear about your tanks. If you guys have any questions, let me know. 
and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.